If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use table mode code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TD Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today as we continue to try out and play with all of these new and hopefully really cool um, Cosmic Eclipse decks. So today we are going to be featuring a um, an interesting um, amount of decks well, not a month, sorry. An interesting variety of decks. Um, hello all the way to Paris, Darren, Fabio to Brazil, um, Rob, Josue, um, Iberzer, thank you so much for being here. Jack, this deck is going to be so inconsistent. Uh, probably, probably, but I don't know. I mean, this was the first idea that I had to combine for uh, Blastoise Piplup. I saw that um, some other people were combining it with Kyogre, right, in order to get an attack of and power up the Piplup, but either way, you're not attacking with this guy on turn one, you are going to be attacking on, um, on turn two, so I figured um, the best way to play this was with counter gain. So we have Splash Maker dealing 150 damage, and you may attach up to three Water Energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. And if you do, you heal 50 damage from this Pokemon for each card you attach to them in this way. So already um, we have a healing kind of price denial um, price denial combo going. And then we have Bubble Launcher GX, which does 100 damage. But if we have at least three extra water energy attached to this Pokemon, then we do 150 more damage plus the paralysis. So decent set of attacks not the best 250 is not quite there if this was 120 and then plus 150 then we would be talking i guess then the paralysis wouldn't be as powerful but um i do like the idea behind blasters and people of and so how are we going to power up three energies onto it well i could have combined this with arceus the Alcapalke, but keldu seems like a better partner for that however once we use mysterious message in order to um basically ko the miss Magius and then um and then be behind in prize cards, we will be able to use counter gain in order to power up the Blastoise and attack with it on turn two. So that's really, really nice because then our attack will cost two waters instead of two waters and a colorless. And then we have the tackle, which not only searches for the Blastoise, but also searches for Kuzma and Hala, which allows us to search for a stadium power plant to slow opposing um, Pokemon. And we also get to <clears throat> search for the counter gain and a special energy. That is the only reason why I'm playing this unit energy because I can't search them with Kuzma and Hal. I can't search for basics. And I just realized I should be playing the pretty power plant rather than the not so pretty one. There we go. All right, now that's looking better. We have great catchers. We have a way to find energy through greens as well. <clears throat> greens will be the main way where we find the dust stone for the mischievous. Like a greens for a treasure and a dust stone is immediately um, a potential seven brand new cards. So like the idea, we have poke gears as well. We have healing through super scoop up because Blastoise is going to be tanky-ish. So we are hoping to tank a hit. Um, get back that guy and then power up a different one with the attack and have that sort of cycle going. Um, the power plant will hopefully deny our opponent's abilities a long time. And then we have the triple reset stamp because after you use double this Magius and one Piplop Blastoise go down, um, we can reset stamp them down to one card. So I don't have too big hopes for this deck. Um, damage output and speed are not the best, that's for sure. However, 
Um, it is an attack team and I figured why not give in a genuine run for its money and then if it's completely dreadful we'll just move on to the next deck. Um, you've played the new Excadrill deck and have a 7 win streak so far. That's pretty cool. I can see you definitely decimating Pikram. How did you beat Mewtree Box and Restroom deck? What do you combine with Excadrill? I will get to Excadrill eventually, but I haven't given it much thought so far. Um, you play Mysterious Treasure. I do play Mysterious Treasure, Jack. I have three, you see? There's two of them right there. <laughs> um, what do I think about Sekram Reshiram? Seems to be the best one. Uh, I wasn't super impressed with it yesterday. That's what I'll say. I was not super, super impressed with it yesterday. Okay, so we have a pretty decent start, I'd say. Uh, we can go Guzma Hala on turn one for uh, power plant, turn one power plant, the unit energy and the counter gain. And then on turn two, we go Queen's Exploration for the Mysterious Treasure, which we do play and the Dust Stone. Therefore, activating as long as we draw an energy off of that, we will get the turn to Splash Maker. So, all right, looking good, looking, looking good. I guess we'll find out if it's actually if it actually ends up working out as we intended to. Though I definitely don't expect my opponent to reset stamp me from a like four card hand. Okay, so then the question becomes what cards do I discard right here? For the Guzma and Hala. Uh, I feel like I can tackle, that's for sure. And then I can get these two guys. Well, you know what? I'm gonna grab these two. I don't expect to need Guzma Hala afterwards, and then I can discard one, right? Discarding one and one Poke Gear seems pretty solid. I don't need two Blastoise Piplups. Okay, so there we go. Energy Stadium Counter Gain. Turn one Power Plant. Hopefully, is interesting or helpful against our opponent's deck. Don't know what we're up against and. I should attach the counter gain, right? I should attach the counter gain. And then we'll pass. We are not losing yet, but then we are guaranteed to draw at least four cards, depending on our top deck. Actually five, at least five cards, maybe six, depending on our top deck, because I do have to discard one for the Mysterious Treasure. So we'll see. We shall see. Mewtree can't one-hit Excadrills, really? I mean, how much HP does Excadrill have? Mewtree can one-hit anything, even 270 HP guys, it deals 300 damage. How does Mewtree not want to KO Excadrills? Hello Panda Boss. <clears throat> this is new 911. Um, I don't know what exactly you mean by this new. Oh, we're up against... Okay, we're up against Malmar where the healing might actually be pretty good. The super scoop ups just became the most valuable cards in our deck, I believe. The super scoop ups just became the most valuable cards in our deck. Oh, Jedi. Hey, Jedi. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. So, yes, this is indeed new. We're trying out YouTube from now until the end of the year. That's going to be what we're gonna be doing, I think. And every time I win, Potan Store has very kindly given us um, code cards to give out. Rip, Jack, why do you say rip? Why rip Roni? As long as we hit like a couple heads and super scoop ups, the fact that we get a turn two attack up is really, really cool. Uh, 140, but with buff padding, it's 190, and they do not want to use lava flow every single turn. While I'm doing 150 for a single energy, that's true. I mean, some decks will play Reshizard, but yeah, buff padding definitely makes a lot of sense. All right, so we immediately got counter stadiumed, though it's not looking great for my opponent to attack on turn two, and we just top deck the energy, which is exactly what we needed to be able to attack. So. Just double check that I don't have Miss Media's prize. I do not. So things are looking really, really good. Things are looking really good. So what's the card I discard? I generally think it's a Poke Gear Switch and Super Scoop of Half Potential. Now I kind of regret discarding that other Blastoise, but we'll see. 
We shall see. So I'm hoping to find some water energies to attach here. That will be cool. I don't expect my opponent to be able to attack me next turn. And there we go. Just as I intended it to work. How good it will be, that's a whole other um, subject, right? Uh, no follow-up stadium is really sad. No reset stamp is also really sad. There's three of them. No greens is also really sad. I do have the Poke Gear, however. And only one energy. Not the end of the world. Um, to your Pokemon in any way you like. So I feel like I need to attach to my active. Well, I don't need to, but counter gain after this turn is completely useless. So might as well, right? Might as well. Yeah, because I don't want to whiff energy next turn and then not get an attack off. I need to attack every turn. If I'm going to win, I need to get... Um, I need to, in six turns, get six prize cards. That's what you need to do against Malmar. All right. And Jedi, I mean, oh, I always want to build every social media, but more importantly, um, it seems like Twitch is very saturated in terms of content creators all streaming at the same time. So I figured a little diversity could um, be beneficial. Yeah, well, we'll see if it ends up being, and that's why we're gonna do the trial run um, from now until from now until the end of the year, and then we'll see where we start 2020. Ooh, okay. So I mean, the the Nagnabel Goslard doesn't change that much on what we are trying to do, does it? Maybe it does. No, I don't think it does. Is the music okay, by the way? I imagine it's okay. No one has said anything. Um, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that... Well, it does change the fact that he's gonna have to knock out only one Blastoise Piplup, though. So I need to prevent prize cards. I can't target down Malamars. That's really bad. Or Jirachis. That's also really bad. But the fact that my opponent focused on the Shrine means... He has yet to find a single energy, which is really good news. And he's using up a lot of the cards. That's the third treasure to discard cards. So that's also really good. Music is fine. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Buffalo. That's very, very kind of you. There's the new Blacephalon from the pre-release too. Pretty cool. Total damage counters won't be that impactful, honestly. It really won't be. I bet thin his hand really, really well. Can't believe out of so many cards he did not have a draw supporter. That's really weird. I don't mind the custom catchers being gone. You pulled a Reshi Sacrum and a Rainbow Rare Gosler Naga. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, Jedi. Or maybe he just doesn't value the custom catchers as much. Yeah, it seems like Malamar just doing Malamar things is not going to allow my opponent to find any energy whatsoever so far so we're in a good spot we're in a good spot being two brides ahead without the need to heal is really really powerful all right we are good here so what i'm going to do is i mean i don't lose anything by using the mystery vis but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to poke here. See if this gets me a greens. It does. That's really good. That's... Uh, is it though? I need energy. That's what I need. Um, I actually need energy more than anything. So this gets me the thing. The energy spinner. That's about it. It's not guaranteed energy. I guess I'll coach trainer instead then. So I do find stadium and I do find energy. So not bad. I'm not going to attach it from hand. I'm just going to attach it from the attack to heal this Blastoise Piplup. That seems solid. This person will be safe. Yeah, because they can only distortion door once. So we'll go ahead and splash maker. 
and let's attach the energy over here really nice really really nice so tanky gx is something that malamar struggles to deal with right uh i do not have viridian forests or second energy spinner here no i think you could find the space for it i do think you could find the space for it but okay so the damage we just healed gets immediately put back not the end of the world really this finds me the miss magia so that's really good and then i go for the reset stamp so things are, things are looking pretty okay i'd say things are looking pretty okay what i mean this is wrong though like my opponent sends a sad emoji this is the wrong procedure we know he has a Cynthia, he should be playing the Cynthia and then Stella Wishing, not leading with the Stella Wish, so... He can't be upset. Well, he can be upset, but... He's upset at the fact that he's... Like, he made a misplay, essentially. Because we know he has a Cynthia, so you play the Cynthia first. Looking for Viridian and Psychic. And if you don't get the Viridian, then you still wish for the Viridian. Alright. He has been finding the spell tags pretty consistently. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so I can treasure, I can dust on or I can treasure. I can use the treasure to thin something else. Maybe I'll just do this and then I will treasure what though? What do I treasure? The Blastoise Piplop? I feel like I want to keep that just in case. Poke gear, we fail it. Two waters right there. Um. Oh, I can't greens. Oops. Oopsies. Okay. Let's. Yeah, let's bench that. And then. Do I goose Mahala? No. I'm gonna mysterious treasure away the great catcher. I still have another one. I I won't grab that guy though. And then I will go mysterious message only for two. Not the best. Not the worst. I do find a water. That's. Perfectly fine by me. And then we'll go reset stamp. My opponent down from 7 to 4. Which is hopefully good. And then I have yet to play anything. So we'll greens for... The energy spinner is actually gone. So let's grab another greens. And I'm liking the reset stamp. Yeah. Alright. And then let's go ahead and splash maker away the Giratina whilst healing our Piplup person. I also love Piplup, so this is a really cool. I can't believe we're gonna beat Malamar though. Because Malamar is doing Malamar things. Alright. Great catcher could be useful for Deoxys Espion. I mean, that's not true though, because he's not gonna bench Deoxys Espion until he uses it to win. And we know he also plays the Nagnatel Costler because he showed us that, so I disagree, Raisin. Um, because assuming that our opponent plays optimally, he's not going to bench the GXs until he can actually use them to beat me. Right, so definitely disagree with that. All right, I will definitely appreciate the Viridian Forest being in play if my opponent decides to play it, which seems like he won't. Seems like he won't. But so far, yes, he's had spell tags, a lot of them, but we've completely nullified the damage as well. 
Okay, this guy only takes two, he's gonna do 120 damage, that's completely fine. Have I bought Luigi's Mansion 3? No, not yet, but I will be doing that today, probably, and... Me and Roxy will get to play Luigi's Mansion 3. That would be pretty cool. That might be our evening plan for today. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, and then if I really need Great Catcher, I still have one more in the deck, I believe, and I can greens for it, so. Okay, so my opponent deciding where to place the damage counters onto. I do have double super scoop up, which is really cool. Really useful. The counter gain, like, the deck played out perfectly. Turn one Kuzma Hala into turn two greens into Mistrivas into, yeah. All right, so decides to spread the damage, which makes a lot of sense. Definitely makes a lot of sense. So what we are going to do here, very wisely chose not to. Um, I mean, either way, I need to prevent him from getting a knockout, right? So let's do Super Scoop Up. Tails. <laughs> well. Come on. Just one out of three. That's all I want. One out of three. There we go. Thank you. All right. We're going to promote that person. We're going to attach this. And then we place the two energies on the Blastoise Piplup. I think. I think that's right just to completely heal it? Is it worth to play Lightning Labs, disable spell tag and skateboard? Potentially, you also disable your own, um, your own um, counter gain. Oh, I only clicked on one, I needed to click both. I thought I clicked one and then I clicked the next. Uh oh. Did I mess up? I messed up. Now he's gonna KO me with the Nagnadel. Ah, oh, I didn't. Oh. Gosh, the clicking. Now he can KO me with Nagnadel Guzzlord, which deals 180. He has the Viridian to search for Dark Energy. He has the energy in the discard pile. And then we lose because we have nothing in play, and then he just GXs. Oh. But if I heal all the damage, then that's not possible. Yeah, and him discarding that means he got it. Ah, come on. What? The programming of this is just so dumb. Do you run Mar Malo Lana for extra healing? No, but maybe I should. I just, I assumed I would have enough healing with the Splash Maker and the Super Scoop Ups. Apparently I don't. Yeah, we're so dead here. Perfect math too. 180, yep. Yeah. Uh, silly PTC Joe. The unfamiliarity with the programming. Like I had never gotten an opportunity to attach to waters. So the unfamiliarity with the programming is what ends up costing it. The live is pretty laggy, really. Is anyone else experiencing that? Is anyone else experiencing problems with the stream? Ramiro, did you think that Mew3 deck could use new Lopony tag and Breaksin tag? Definitely Lopony tag, Breaksin, I'm not so sure. Uh, but yeah, now my opponent just GXs and wins. Oh, I was so close to beating him too. Oh well. I mean, like I said, I don't have high expectations for this deck. We shall see. It wasn't a misplay. I was like, I intended to attach both. I intended to attach both energies to fully heal. The game just, I didn't know how it works. 
Maybe try refreshing, Fabio. Ah, I would have given out a code too if I had won that one. Yeah, I know, Jack. I know he was going to win. That's why I conceded, right? Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, ugh, that was annoying. Because I, I KO that guy, and then I KO the next, and as long as I can heal again, I'm okay-ish. It would have been hard. Like, finding energy seems difficult for this deck, apparently. And this is also not looking great. <laughs> Rip my 10 win streak off. <laughs> Why is the screen timing so slow? There's a delay, right? There's a natural delay between... Between what you guys see, what I'm saying, and what happens in chat. So I respond live to your chat messages, but then it takes a while to show up. So by the time you have messaged me something, I've probably already taken a different action. Okay, so we're up against some sort of... Um, from part of deck, right? Top deck that person, that's nice. Do hit this, which is also pretty cool. I think I need the greens. Well, I don't need the greens, but the green seems like the best card to grab here. So going second definitely hurts us a little. Not the end of the world though. Okay, I'll attach and then I'll go greens for the dust stone. And I think the Goose Mahala, that way I guarantee I get an attack of as long as my energy is not priced, it's not. Okay, that's good. That's good. I do have a couple of these priced. All right, so this seems solid. This seems solid. So let's go Dust Stone, Evolve, and then I'll play the Stadium, and I'll burn the Switch. I definitely don't think I need Switch here. And then, sure, I give my opponent a prize card, but then I reset stamp him down to five, which is pretty okay. And then I don't want him to have one, two, three, four, five, nine cards in hand. Victory team, GG. I misclicked in the end there. I had the other energy to heal and then like, I didn't know how the attack worked because I hadn't been able to attach to energies at all. So pff, that ended up costing me. <laughs> that ended up costing me. Okay, so I don't think we can lose next turn. Is it possible for me to stream with bigger bitrate? No, I don't think so because my like the connections in Mexico are just so slow. Single my opponent got a pretty decent reset stamp. And all right, so oof, one card away from the energy spinner. That would have been fantastic to find last turn. So definitely discarding this and this, right? And then let's grab one of everything. All right, so the biggest issue right now is, I mean, this guy has 150 HP, that's cool. However, um, he does get a one shot, so my healing literally does not matter. So Aerodactyl GX could be problematic. So I'm just gonna splash Maker one energy to the active for now. Oh, okay, so yeah, you have to click a bunch and then attach them. Do you have ho high hopes for the new Dark Box? No, I have zero hopes <laughs> for the new Dark Box, if I'm honest. I don't expect it to be very good. But we're gonna give it a fair try. You know, just like for this deck, we're gonna give it a fair try. All right. All right, so there's our Dactyl. There's Cranido. So now my Great Catcher is looking a little silly to having discarded it. It's not the end of the world though. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I get two greens. I kind of like gifting my opponent another prize. Therefore, 
preventing any sort of um, karate belt shenanigans. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I hope... Can't use... Why not play Magneton over Miss Magius? You can't use... Yeah, you can't toss stone Miss Magius. This, this right here is exactly why. This right here is exactly, exactly why. Okay, Raisin, are you familiar with bit rates? Because I'm not very familiar as to like why bit rates matter so much. So if you can explain to me why a bigger bit rate would be better. I mean, that allows me to stream for like um, like to higher um, like for 1080p maybe? Is that what it is? I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure. And okay, splash maker. I shouldn't be dying next turn to anything, right? We're both gonna be at four prizes. He can't wild crash me. So I should be fine. I hope. Yeah, splash maker and then I'll attach one, sure. I'll attach one over here. All right. All right. Yeah, there's the Aerodactyl. It does have free retreat. He can't do 400 damage to me, which is fine. The extra energy helped me also. Oh, my bubble launcher now is so costly though. I can't bubble launcher. Well, I can. I can paralyze him. What are the chances that he played switch? What are the chances that he has a switch right here? Not very high, I'd say. Not very high. We'll see. We get reset stamped. Super scoop up. Not the best. Coach trainer, very decent. Wild dive GX. All right, that's perfectly fine. All right, that is generally perfectly fine. Then we get to Coach Trainer. Should have played this first. It's my bad. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing to grab, so never mind. Alright, so I can use my first attack. I feel like here's where I GX. That way, this guy's paralyzed. I don't need the extra damage. Just attach here, and then let's go for a Bubble Launcher. And then our dactyl is paralyzed. I was always going to two shot this person, so this is fine. The skateboard will also do it. Yeah, the skateboard will also do it. That's true. That is true. And you would expect this sort of deck to play Jirachi, right? You would expect this sort of deck to play Jirachi, but it's like a skateboard allows him to retreat. But it doesn't change the fact that my opponent is in a lot of trouble right here um because like what does he do he retreats and then i still take two prizes so i don't know so he's gonna knock me out with wild crash next turn right presumably so i'm gonna save everything else i am going to greens however for a stadium and don't need anything else really. My Blastoise. I have one Blastoise prized. Don't think that changes much. I mean, the Super Scoop Ups are annoying. But I can't. Yeah. Okay, so this last Blastoise has to sweep. If everything goes well, I should be able to win in three turns. Splash Maker. 150. Get the KO. Attach the energy to the Blastoise. This guy goes down to this person, and then maybe he attaches, but then I go reset stamp KO, and then he doesn't have two more turns to win. He only has one more turn, so that should be game. That should be game. That should indeed be game. There's a Viridian Forest, I'm happy to see that. Well, it actually does not matter. It actually does not matter. There we see the Cynthia. There we see the Cynthia. 
we are completely okay. This ener If this energy attachment had gone here, then we would have been in trouble. And thanks so much for following Musketeer over on Twitch, even though we are not streaming on Twitch. Thank you so much. Alright, so reset stamp to 1. Yeah, Raisin. Um, it's just the the speed in the Mexican <laughs> the Mexican internet just can't can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Right now I have fourteen hundred um, kilobytes per second, so definitely not happening. Right. So this guy can't tank a hit. Right. That guy can tank a hit. Thankfully this has 150 instead of 160. That's huge. I don't need to attach. So my opponent needs to promote this and then top deck exactly. Energy. I take a hit and then energy switch. Those are the only three cards that help him. But doesn't even attach. Oof. Splash maker. So Piplup takes a victory and that means code cards. That means code cards. So I'm going to start getting that ready. I don't remember what was the last code I gave out. So I'm going to check first. Okay. And then I'll know exactly where. Okay. So there's a Cynthia one turn too late. It seems for my opponent. Uh oh, oh no, that doesn't matter because the the Karate Belt does not work. The Karate Belt does not work. The Karate Belt does not work. One energy away. That was super intense though. <laughs> that was super intense, but there's a victory. There is a victory, cool. Okay, so I'm going to double check on the codes, okay. And to double check on the codes. Wait, didn't I have it already? Wasn't I in this page already? Okay, I'm gonna check on the codes really quickly. Let me see if this code. Okay, this code has already been redeemed. So let me check the next one. And once again, big thanks to Potown Store for. Okay, so that one's been redeemed as well. And then let's see this one. That one as well. Wow, I gave out a lot of codes yesterday. Lucky you. That one too. Wow. Huh. There we go. So there's a new code. So you guys can grab a Cosmic Eclipse pack. Now I know exactly where I am at. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven codes to give away. So I need to win seven more games for you. Okay. I don't think I'm going to play more of the Blastoise Piplup deck. I feel like this has been enough to know where it's at. I did, like the deck seemed to run well at least. Um, the Super Scoop Ups didn't feel as great. The Guzma Hala was amazing. Um, Greens of course was great, Miss Magius was MVP. More of these, more of these, other sorts of healing might be good. Um, the issue is you can only play 60 cards, right? You can only play 60 cards, but I did like it. I did like it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be moving on to the next deck. So if you're watching live on YouTube, don't go anywhere. I will be right back with our next deck. And if you are um, watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to go like. It really helps out the challenge. I mean the channel, not the challenge. Well, the challenge of growing the channel. Yeah. And, um, okay, so next up, we are going to be utilizing Malamar with Blastephalon. So don't go anywhere, I will be right back. 